Okay, cool. Okay, everybody. Good evening. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about entrepreneurship and accounting. Um, I'm first going to go over some of the things that we're going to be talking about over the next three days. Um, the first thing is we're going to be talking about reasons why entrepreneurs would um, record uh, accounting transactions and have financial records. The next thing that we'll talk about is um, what happens when you fail to record or present financial records. And then finally, um, at, towards the end of class, the next couple of days, we'll um, end on the effects of not uh, using financial records for entrepreneurs. But before we get into um, anything else, I kind of want to discuss with you some things um, that accounting activities can um, be involved in other business sectors. So first thing, um, accounting activities can be involved in several different business sectors. The first one um, I want to talk to you guys about is international accountants. So when companies work with other countries, they also have to record financial uh, information on their reports and things like that. There's also um, another sector of business that accounting activities come into play. One is um, the IRS criminal investigation. Um, how many of you in here have jobs? Okay, so you all have jobs and you pay taxes, right? Well, um, entrepreneurs that have businesses have to pay taxes as well. And what the IRS um, accountants do is look for those businesses that might not be um, recording their finances correctly. But the main um, thing we're going to be talking about is why accountant, accounting activities are so important to entrepreneurs. Can anybody tell me uh, what entrepreneurship is? Carla. A person who creates a new idea that has either been done that they've revamped or just something that's completely new. Okay. Steve, can you put your phone away, please? Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Well, that was a very good example. Um, what I want you guys to do is I want you to come up with your own definition of entrepreneurship. And I'm going to pass around um, a half sheet of paper. Christina and Steve are going to be in a group. You three are going to be in a group. And then Carla, DJ, and um, Jared are going to be in a group. I'm going to give you a couple minutes. Listen up. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to um, write your own definition, and then we'll discuss it as a class. Okay? So we're writing Go ahead and get started. Definition of an You're going to come up with your own definition of an entrepreneur, yes. Creative. We're writing a definition. Creative. Um, entrepreneurs. Um, and problem solving. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. You almost took out DJ. You want to buy the floor? Yeah. What did you say to Mm -hmm. How's it going, Steve? All done. Teach. All done. Okay. All done, teach. You don't want me to see what you have right now? No. Um, okay. Business person yes. or. Do we need to have our names on this? Yes. D. Can we get a grade on this? Yes, you're going to have participation points for this, Steve. Um, okay, does anybody else need any more time? Business person, scientist, or other... DJ, do your group, does your group need more time? Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... a business scientist? Ooh, a business scientist. Mathematician. Oh. I like that. Is that for real? Mm. I'd like that or not as a scientist. <laughs> Where'd you get the compost? I'd run real fast with them. Ah. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, you guys finished up? Yeah. Okay. So each group is going to share their definition to everybody. So, Steve, how about you go? 
you were you. He said an entrepreneur is it's, one who... It's, it was a group, remember? We said an entrepreneur is one who is entrepreneurial. So what does that mean to you? That means that an entrepreneur is a good thing. I said that What was. qualities or what, what would um, make you think that somebody was an entrepreneur? Um, when he uh, owns his own business. Okay. So somebody that owns their own business. Yes. Would be your, what you define as entrepreneurship. Does that mean he's being entrepreneurial? Sure. Then yes. Okay. Brittany, how about your group? Someone who takes risks with a new idea to start a business. Great. Okay, and Carla? We said a person who is creative, innovative, has problem-solving skills, they're self-motivated, and they are a business scientist. It's a really good definition. Okay, well, everything that you guys Score. discussed right now was really great. And this is my own definition that, um, of entrepreneurship. It's the capacity and the willingness to develop, organize, and manage a business venture along with any of its risks in order to make a profit. Does that mean that fat people are better entrepreneurs because they have more capacity? No, that does not mean that. Sorry guys, I forgot to hand out your notes. Make sure you're writing this down on your guided notes. Okay, and I just added some of these qualities up here. Um, entrepreneurs are creative, um, they have an imagination, they're, pas they're passionate about what they do, and they're determined. So would you guys all agree that that's true of an entrepreneur? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do they have to be a business person? Do they have to be a business person? Yeah. No. Okay. I, it could be anybody that... Um, has a, a cool, innovative idea. I mean, it could be anybody. You don't have to have a business degree. You don't even have to take business classes in high school like you're doing right now. Now, one thing that isn't on this slide that we're going to talk about is the financial side of entrepreneurship. So, those accounting activities that we've been working on and the accounting problems, and we've been discussing a lot of the financial reports that... Um, businesses have to keep and accountants have to um, keep record of. Entrepreneurs are going to have to do this too, whether or not they're acting as um, an accountant for their own business or they hire in an accountant, they're going to be responsible for these um, types of financial statements. Is everybody finishing up their notes? Okay, so my question to you guys is, um, why do you think accounting is, accounting is so important in entrepreneurship? Can you think ooh, of anything? Ooh, 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 ooh. See? Because. It's <laughs> <laughs> me, an old TV welcome back, Cotter Show. Yeah. Um, could you ask your question again? I had Steve. Why do you think accounting activities are so important to entrepreneurs? Well, if you don't, That's if you Steve. don't, it's account for the money, then you won't know if you're making a profit. Great. That is That's good, Steve. Very good. I'm proud of Anybody that. else? <laughs> Carla? You might be like spending more than what you have if you don't keep track of it. Good. Good job, Carla. That is very good. Because you can't you shouldn't spend money you don't have, right? Okay. If you don't have good accountants, the IRS will come and get you. Yes. Yes, that is right, DJ. Okay, well, like I said, today we're going to be focusing on the reasons for keeping business records, and obviously there's several different reasons. Um, right now I'm going to hand out a case study for you guys to work in groups. And the case study is going to either put you in a position of an entrepreneur or a position of an accountant. So, Ms. Butler... Yes. Christina's working on other homework. I'm working on entrepreneur stuff. Where's your entrepreneur stuff? Done. Done.